Hi everybody, it's Corbin, and today we have yet another little black box subscription. This is my absolute last month of getting both boxes. So I'm going to do the dual camera thing, so let me scoot slightly over and then it'll pop up right here. So, alright, so let's just lay these out in front of you. They both showed up today about maybe 10-15 minutes ago, so I'm half asleep when I'm filming this. So. Let's open up the normal one, and they'll do side by side. So, in the normal box, black tissue wrapping everything up like normal, little papers from a chapter book. This one is by Andrew Taylor, The Judgment of Strangers. I have no clue if that's a good book or not, so I couldn't tell you. Oh. First off is actually, this is beautiful, um, is a lace mask, which actually I, I'm sure I can find a purpose for it. It is very beautiful. Um, it's a gorgeous lace mask. It's very heavy duty. Um, it's a little small for my face, but I mean, I've seen how much these retail for, so I'm really happy with this. This is absolutely stunning. Um, I'm gonna have to change the ribbon on the ends because it's completely too short. The traditional black nail polish, which is a wet and wild nail polish. Um, I've never used a wet and wild nail polish, at least not to my memory. Uh, I like wet and wild, so that's a great thing. The next thing is this cameo, which I own a lot of these cameos from a company called Elements. Oh, Elementes. Element 8. I don't know, but these are very cute little cameos. I really like it, actually. It's just a gray with a skeleton woman. I actually own a lot of cameos like this. I have black ones, and I think I I just own a lot of cameos because I buy them all the time because I think they're really pretty. So that it's very cool. This is Girls Talk Waterproof Mascara by Clean Color. Um, I know. I've used a lot of clean color products because I go to the garment district on and off throughout the years and I buy their stuff so I I know it'll be okay. I know it's not the best product but it's not the worst product ever. Now this is a little handout for Halloween movies. This is the special box set and it tells me when it comes out and they have signed Halloween versions of that movie or the Halloween movies. Um, what is this? The Pale Tree something something would keep it witchy. Insert bomb, Facebook, okay. Huh. I'm going to guess this is an incense sort of website slash Wiccan pagan website. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to check that out. Um... Be scared for your home. Be tempted by rock, dark side, evil book tight. Okay, so this is a band of flyer, which I'm happy I finally am starting to get flyers back inside my coffin boxes, because that was actually the part I was really wanting the most, besides accessories, is to find a little more music. So, that's exciting. Now, the absolute last thing that's in my little coffin box is going to be this, which it has things in it that I actually am excited now that I've glanced at them. Um, the first thing that's in here, and it's tangled up with the second thing, is one of these little bobble rings. I've seen these all over the place. They were really trendy like a year ago. Um, I, I don't know if I'll ever actually wear this. I think it's interesting and it just broke on me. A pearl just fell off, but that's okay. Um, I'm crafty. I'll figure out how to make it work. But that's, it's just a big kind of, another one fell off. It's just a statement ring. There's nothing too spectacular about it. Oh, I can reattach it. That's not a problem. Okay. So, yeah, I like the ring. It's cute. It's fine. These pop off for reasons unknown to me. I guess they weren't closed all the way when they were put together. I actually really like the little red bag this time. And then the last thing is a very beautiful little cameo 
that I absolutely love. So it has a little diamond in it, and it's just really sweet. It's one of these understated accessories that just are timeless and perfect. And inside you can put your photos, and it's just... I'll try to get closer to the camera and hopefully it focuses. So it's just not... It's just a cute little tiny necklace. It's just adorable. So this seems like a little sparse of a general box, but I did get three accessories in it, two pieces of makeup, four accessories if you count the mask. I actually i am in love with this mask. I mean, it is gorgeous. I just have to... I mean, I love it. I mean, I wish... Something that I wish would happen with um, the black box is we'd get the company's names that contributed things to it inside the black box because I would probably order one of these and I would be grateful to have ordered one of these because I love them. Um, so maybe that's something that Vex can work on in the future is by giving us either a list. It doesn't even have to be formal. It just can be typed with what the item is, and then we could look them up and find them ourselves. Um, I'd really enjoy that. So I'm going to pop over to the next one. So the next box is my coffin box. Inside of it has just black tissue with, I'm going to assume it's the same book. Now this one, let's see, let's delve in. I see a cute... Oh, these are lace little gloves. Um, I don't think they'll ever have a prayer fitting on me. So, oh no, they do, actually. If, I, if I'm patient, anyway. Patience has never been my virtue. Um, I miss it. If it go over my fat finger. So, these are just, I, they're a pair. So, they're cute little lace gloves that go over like that. They're actually really pretty. Um, I like them. I think they are very romantic and they call back to an era that does not really get much throwback. Actually, that's not true. The Victorian era gets a lot of throwback. But I, I do like the gloves. I think they're very cute. Um, not something I would expect to get inside of a guy's box, but I mean, guys can rock these too. Uh, they're very dainty though, so that's my only pick up with them. But as far as it being an item in the box, I don't see it really being a big issue. I do, for me personally, I probably will never wear them, at least not without having a party or a costume or something particular in mind, because they're just, they're way too feminine. I, I like them though, so I, I can plan outfits around them. Um, the cute little gloves. I wish they would come inside of a bag so I don't lose them. Um, the next thing is, I know what it is. It's a perfect, it's a correcting powder. So it's like a foundation, which doesn't bother me. Um, it doesn't tell me the brand. It's very shimmery. So this is probably a shimmery uh, highlighter. That's neither here nor there for me. So I'll re-swatch it again on the back of my hand. Um, it's just glittery. It's not even really iridescent. So I don't know. I don't know what brand this is. I don't know where it came from. I like the case though. So I may depot this and use it for something else. Because unknown brands, I usually do lots of homework before I wear anything brand related. So this is obviously a goth Illuminati kind of bat thing. I have a feeling it glows in the dark because it looks like glow in the dark plastic. Um, I really actually do enjoy this. I think this is cute. I, I, I don't wear things. I usually don't wear pins at all. Okay, I'm going to take this off or put it up here. Um, I usually don't wear pins at all. So, I mean, we'll see if I ever actually use it. I may end up giving it away. The next thing is an All May Wake Up Eyeshadow Trio? Yeah, what is this little white thing? It looks like a primer. Yes, it is supposed to be a primer that's covered in eyeshadow dust. Um, never have used anything by All May, really. So we'll see how much I like it. We'll see. This is traditional nail polish. Ooh, this one's really pretty and different. Moon Dame. Dome? Moon Dance, sorry. 
Uh, it's like it has bar glitter and normal glitter, and it's like the silver ball, the silvery black I got last time. Um, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but you guys can see all the glitters inside of it. Uh, this is another clean color little nail polish. I, I like clean color polish because it's pretty much one coat go. I, I, that, that always sells me a nail polish. Um, another pin, which this one's very pretty. It has pearls and then it's surrounded by a little diamond sort of thing, um, border that has diamonds and stuff. Um, it would match the ring that I got a few black boxes ago. Um, it was silver and it looked like a snowflake with diamonds all across it. It would match that really, really well. Um, then I got, again, another promotional code from uh, this company, the Pale Tree. I can't make that one. Pale Tree. Arcana. So yeah, this is probably going to be a Wiccan store. So Pale Tree Arcana. And then stickers, which I'll just throw this inside my Midori. They're little cute trick-or-treat st stickers from Halloween. They have a bat. They have skull and crossbones and candy and stuff. Um, the last thing is the bag of oh, accessories, which is, this is my favorite part of getting these boxes. Um, let me dump them out. They're obviously going to be really tangled. The first piece that I am grabbing for that is attached to all other pieces, but um, this is just a very pretty little pearl necklace, kind of chains with pearl necklaces with little black dime, uh, I don't even want to call them anything real, but it's just very pretty. It's a long dangly sort of necklace that it would just... You could double it up. You could do what you wanted to to wear this. I really like this. I have to figure out a way to store this and not have it tangled with everything else. So the next one has this pretty... I didn't even really look at the color. It's like an amber-colored diamondy heart in it. Um, it's on one of these kind of silver-looking chains. It's just cute. This is... Oh, it's not even a heart. It's like a weird square shape thing. Um, I like it. I think this is cute. It's very understated. Again, simplicity is just kind of the best key. And the, I got quite a few necklaces this time, which I'm fine with. Um, it's this cute little key necklace on a silver chain. It has little diamonds on it, which I like getting accessories, so this doesn't bother me. Uh, now this... This looks like it's supposed to be a pendant. I'm pretty sure it is. It looks like a bass string. So this... Actually, I like this. This is this is different. This is definitely something more masculine um, if I'd come on a plane train. But I like this. I think this is cool. Uh, this is... Anyway, but this is really cute. I, I like this. It's been soldered together, so this will never really come apart. This is... It's a bass string of some sort. I'm not sure which one. But... I've seen these. I have a bracelet a lot like this somewhere in my stuff, but this is just a plain little necklace. I like the accessories this month quite a bit. Quite a quite a bit. Um, from this box in particular, the accessories, well, they go above and beyond because there are quite a few of them. It's not necessarily better, not necessarily worse. It's just there's quite a few of them, which makes you feel like you're getting quite a bit. Uh, I'll just drop it in there. They not again. They not. Um. So let's do a side by side really fast. Go over once again what decision I made about which box I'm keeping, which I did announce last time, and we will go ahead and go through it. So for side by side purposes, there's that box. Here is this box. The truth is, both boxes are very, very similar, except for, I mean, they're just very similar. They each give you a nail polish, black, traditionally, every goth person needs black. They give you pieces of makeup. This one is an eyeshadow trio with a primer. This one comes with a mascara. So, I mean, it depends on what you're looking for. I mean, they change every month, so it's not going to be the same. 
Then this one came with gloves. This one came with cameo, which is neither here nor there for me as far as deciding factors. This one, the coffin box came with both pins and I, I'm a sucker for accessories. And then this the coffin box also came with another piece of makeup, which is like a shimmer highlighter, which actually has already faded pretty much off my hand. Um, so I probably will depot this and put a mirror inside because I like that. I think that'll be kind of cool and Mod Podge over the top and make it like a compact mirror that goes in my bag. Then it came with a bag of goodies. This one has, I think, four necklaces. This one had a necklace and a ring. And they both came with the same promotional stuff. So for me, in truth and honesty, if I was going to base it off of today's box, I like this one because it gives uh, the coffee box because it gives me the most accessories, which is one of the reasons I started the subscription service was to acquire accessories and pretty things to wear. Oh, and the mask came in the regular box too, but the accessories and pretty things to wear, I think that the mask should have come in the the premium coffin box and maybe the cameo, I mean the pin, one of the pins should have come in this box. But I'm happy I got it, so I'm not gonna really complain. I love lace and I think that's one of the things I told her so this was a good choice, especially for someone like me who loves lace. So I would have gone with this one because of accessories, except for if this mask had been told to me that it was coming in the regular box, I would have gotten the regular box. Because again, these retails for quite a bit of money and the cost of the boxes would be how much I paid would pay for one of these. Um, again, the regular box is 20 bucks. The black box, coffin box one is 40. Uh, so this is last month that I'm getting the regular box purely because I like more bang for my buck. So I got enough accessories here to feel happy with what I'm paying and I feel satisfied enough. Whereas with the regular box, I feel like I'm getting kind of gypped because it, it's just a big box for what the amount of stuff being sent. And I think that's a lot of what's going on is it's a big box. And so when I look at it, I see a lot of empty space. It doesn't make me overly happy. I feel like I haven't, I've been gypped of some money. But with the coffin box, because it's a smaller volume of space with a lot of stuff crammed in it, it makes me happier. I enjoy it. I enjoy seeing it. I enjoy going through it because there's more stuff there for me to play with. Um, now, that wasn't exactly my deciding factor. It's just I wanted more accessories. And I get more accessories with the coffin box. So, yep, that's this month. This is the last month where I'm getting both. So I will talk to you guys later. You guys have a great day. Shoot me a like, a favorite, a subscription. Ask me questions down below. I'll put links to black box subscriptions in the description. So check them out. It's worth it. Let them know that I sent you. Um, tell her that Corbin, late yet nice on YouTube, sent you. She'll figure it out, or she'll shoot me an email asking me for my full name, and I'll let her know, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Do you like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!